We're gonna take a tour of a 68 inch Epic from Snap-on, a 12 drawer setup, canary yellow, trimmed in black. Let's see what's in the top drawer. So in the top drawer, we have sockets, mostly sockets. Uh, I see Icon, half inch drive, 3H drive, standard and metric. The black, black is metric, the red is standard. We got a metric set of um, snap-on, metric, standard. And this set, we, it goes from 5 sixteenths, let's see if it focus, to 3 quarter, or 7 eighths, my mistake. This technician chose to go with um, Tech Time. Open up one of these cases. Tech Time, they make a great set of sockets, impact sockets. And as I mentioned in the previous video, you don't have to buy a snap on for everything. You can substitute. There's other companies out there that make tools that are greater than or equal to snap-on so you don't have to buy snap-on tools for everything has a nice breaker bar it looks like a snap-on oh yeah so this is a half inch drive breaker bar Breaker bars are worth their weight in gold. I can tell you that. Looks like we got a set of quarter inch drive metric on snap on rail icon. The icon tool is from, from Harbor Freight. I want to say they've been out maybe like six months now, and I think they're trying to copycat snap on. They look like snap-on sockets, but they're not. It gets the job done. So, cheaper price. I think if you bought a set of snap-on half-inch drive metric chrome line sockets, that'll, that'll probably be like a $500 set just for this one. But if you buy the Icon, Icon is maybe 60 bucks with a coupon, 10% off coupon. I mean, you can't beat it. So for 500 bucks snap-on for one set, you can get all the sockets from Nikon. Nikon, they're still coming out with new sockets. Last time I was in Harbor Freight, I think I saw uh, that they had swivel sockets. So that's on my radar. All right, let's go to another drawer. Listen to the sound of that epic. Let me do that one more time. He's gonna get mad at me for slamming the drawer. But it's all good. Next drawer down, we have a set of snap on ratchet wrenches. This looks like metric, uh, 10 millimeter to 19 millimeter. Very nice set, very nice set. But up under, we have the icon. Like I said, it, in the last drawer, the Icon, they're coming a long way. Lifetime warranty, cheaper price. Look at this nice polished set. This is what you would call uh, stubby wrenches. So again, another set of metric, 10 millimeter to 19 millimeter. They didn't skip, they didn't skip any sizes. 10, 11, 12, they didn't skip any sizes. 
that's that's a good selling point for icon they don't skip sizes put that back on here uh, we have a klein multimeter and the type of work we do we have to check um, resistance uh, voltages uh, things of that nature so every technician is going to need a multimeter got a set of pittsburgh wrenches let's see what we have here another set of met metric so we got seven to 19 and this says skips a few sizes I don't see a nine, but in our line of work, you, we don't we don't use nine millimeter. Maybe if you was working on a car or something like that, you'll use a nine millimeter. Nice set of Snap-on pry bars, the four set. I really wish Snap-on sold this set in doubles, where you get two of every length. I think it kind of sets you up if you have to buy the second set because you only get one size of everything. But I think that's I think that's what they should do in the future. They should sell a set with double, double of everything. Because when you use the pry bar, in my line of work, I need two pry bars exactly the same length. It kind of defeats the purpose. Here we have the standard side. We have the uh, the Icon stubbies again, standard. Let's see, quarter inch, the three quarter inch. Again, they didn't st skip the size. Right behind it, we have that snap-on set, ratchet wrenches, three eighths, the three quarter. Got a few Allen sockets. We have a polisher from Snap-on, the 14.4 volt polisher. In the future, I'm gonna do a review of the Snap-on polisher up against the, uh, the Milwaukee. Let's get out of this drawer. Next drawer we have, this is where the Snap-on causes the speed drawer. So in this technician's speed drawer, he has his taps, metric and standard, uh, tap holders, uh, a few extra parts that he, that's needed for jobs that he works on. The speed drawer, you open up this drawer, the way he got it laid out should be, he knows where everything is at and everything has a use all right so we have this drawer we'll go across to this drawer it's kind of a junk drawer so i'm not going to stay too long in this one some literature a few pens and pencils that is drawer. Screwdriver drawer. We've got a set of snap-on screwdrivers. I think these are Harbor Freight uh, bits. Another set of snap-on screwdriver. Some minis. This set right here from Snap-on, I will say the cushion grip. The cushion grip on on these screwdrivers, I don't know how they do it, but I, I have never found a better screwdriver. And I'm open to suggestions. If anyone has a suggestion of a better screwdriver than the Snap-on screwdriver, let me know down in the comments.
Nice setup. See how this drawer. Go across again. We have a set of blue point. Some channel locks, cutters, needle nose pliers. It's like in a little nifty pouch. Oops. Put that back. We have the snap on uh, crescent wrench set. I think the smallest, so we got the sizes. We got a six inch is the smallest and a 12 inch. That's a nice set. I've used, I've used these adjustable wrenches and I noticed they don't back off. And, and everything with Snap-on is lifetime warranty. So I think I actually warranty the set. I actually warranty one Crescent wrench that I had personally for over 10 years. And it finally started giving me problems. Got a set of Blue Point. Um, oh, it says that's Nipex. Nipex. Oh, I gotta figure it, figure that out. Blue Point. Nipex. I wonder if he added handles to that. I wanna ask. Got a few channel locks, vice grips. Got a little set of punches wire strippers, wire cutters, shears. See some mirrors. Okay. Let's get out of this drawer. That epic. We have punches, chisels, Brass punches. It's like a large selection of uh, Pittsburgh pry bars. And like I said earlier, see how he has a double set? Because you need two of everything. So there's one, two, three, four sets of pry bars in a pair. Four pairs of pry bars. Have a few files. Not sure that's maybe something he's working on. Filler gauges. Nice setup. Calibers. Let's open them up. 12 inch calibers. Six inch calibers. Okay. Leveler. Let's get out of this door. We got a hammer drawer. We got a vacuum cleaner. Day of blow hammers. Mallets. Ball ping hammer. A set of wedges. Nice long air nozzle. There we go. So we have a cross. This is the power drawer. In this day and age, I'm going to say it. And I know a lot of people are not going to agree with me, but pneumatic tools are starting to be obsolete. Everything's going battery powered. We have this big boy in here from Snap-on. Three-quarter drive. 
impact brushless they had to compete with Milwaukee Uh, let me see if I can find that model number. Uh, we have model number uh, CT9075. The Snap-ons half-inch drive impact, battery-powered impact, 18 volts. Can't wait to do a head-to-head -head with, with Milwaukee and the Snap-on impact. That's coming soon. All right, let me put this back. Looks like we have a drill. The key to drill. Snap on 3 8 impact. Your chargers down the bottom, batteries. All right. Let me get out of this drawer. We have this small drawer that's underneath the, the power drawer. I wish they had to put this smaller drawer on top of the power drawer. Not sure why they did it this way. But it's here. Let's open up, see what we have in here. Not much. Looks like some paperwork. We're gonna call this a, a junk drawer. Not much to see in here. Dial indicator looks like. Close this drawer. Open this drawer. Uh, another junk drawer. Here. We have two sets of snap ring pliers, larger set of snap ring pliers. I think these are proto. Yeah. Proto. Torque wrenches. 3H drive. Half inch drive. Another dial indicator. I think these are attachments for the polisher. We have a polisher right here. This drawer. So there you have it. 68 inch epic canary yellow trimmed in black. This box will have a stainless steel top coming soon. And then it's, then it's gonna have a hutch. And we'll, we'll do a follow-up video when everything is set up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more toolbox and tool reviews. Thanks for watching.